grew up just listening to whatever mum listened to so half the time mum would be playing either Bee Gees, Eminem, Enya, like anything goes really, mostly Bob Marley and a bit of Oliver Mtukudzi who's a, um, quite a renowned musician from Zimbabwe. One Christmas I just asked my mum for a guitar and I'd been asking for it for quite a while and uh, she finally got me a guitar. I think it took me about two years to finally start playing it. And um, after that, yeah, I guess that's how the whole music experience started. My greatest weakness is myself. Like, I'm the only one who can stop myself from achieving my goal. So that's what it really means. And then it goes on to say, all around me people live comfortably while I sit on the corner begging for a chance. So it's sort of just, that's not me in a sense because I'm not sitting on a corner begging for a chance. I'm, it's sort of playing on two meanings because that could mean, you know, Zimbabwe is the sort of poor street kid who's sitting out there begging for the world to help them out with a, you know, a few dollars a day or something like that. And in a way that could be me as well. I could be the person who's, you know, I'm not well known, but I'm still begging, not begging, but I'm still, you know, trying to earn my right to actually be known as a musician around Wellington or even, you know, worldwide as it is my goal. I guess like there's two tracks on that EP that are pretty like dark, like the rain and the rain's a bit more upbeat because it's sort of like, you know, the way it's composed. But with Losing My Way, it's just the guitar and the voice and it's sort of flashback. Um, you know, Hiding Away From Life, that was a really kind of tough time where I was working in hospitality. Um, I was trying to study. I was nearly thinking of dropping out because my, priority, my priorities were completely skewed. And I just, yeah, things just weren't really going right, you know. I had bills on top of bills to pay and... Yeah, things were just getting really rough and I, I just found it easier to just retreat into myself and sort of music and yeah, that way. But um, in terms of like when things are going wrong, I think like the time when I wrote my EP or came up with the ideas was a time that does not really reflect the now. Like some of those songs don't really reflect the space that I'm in now. Um, but they do relate and resonate to a lot of people around me. So that's why I still play those songs. And I still feel like, you know, sometimes I can resonate with those songs as well. The best thing was the first gig that I did for this actual EP. And this was before it was even released. It was at Strangers Lane and it was just sort of like a sit down bar type gig and I just invited a few family and friends but there were some other people that had already been at the bar and after I played that song some guy came up to me and was like wow man like that song just really spoke to me because right now am I like at this point in time that's what I'm experiencing in my life and that was one of the I guess coolest things because you know I've always wanted to just help people through speaking through music and for some reason I spoke to that guy through my songs. Your heart is in two. You know, I've got a huge imagination. I'll be, you know, I'll be walking down the road and I'll be thinking about like some real el electronic dreams. song that I will look, I will create in my brain and then I get home and I'm like, man, I don't really have that plug-in to make it sound like that or 
I don't really know how to make it sound like that. So until I really get into a studio where I'm working with professionals that have been doing this for a while, like, you know, producers and everything, that's when my sound is going to sound exactly what I want it to sound. So, um, yeah, I guess it is going to progress. At the moment, I'm working on something original myself and it's definitely more MIDI based, um, lack of guitar as well and a lot of sort of deep, I guess, 808s in there, which is kind of different from what I do. But, you know, <laughs> people don't really know my music until my music comes out. When my album comes out in 2017, that's when, you know, that is gonna be my music. But for now, I guess we're just playing around and seeing what's going on. <laughs> in a state of commotion I'm living